Hello everyone, this is Alan from GoThrough, the best platform for publishing 360 images to Google Street View. In this tutorial, we're gonna connect 360 images that uh, we have in our GoThrough web application, but using the GoThrough Street Editor mobile application. And the reason we're gonna use the mobile application is because it's easier to use for people that struggle to connect the images using our desktop application, which is a more uh, complex application. It allows you to do more things, but for people that just start with, uh, with connecting images, I think the Street Editor application is way more uh, friendlier. So let's go ahead and I have this tour. I'm gonna click on Tools button and then we see the images are not connected they just uploaded them and we're gonna click on create navigation and here we have mobile street editor and mobile street editor will take us to the street editor uh, page and here we can install the app for our apple device or android device in this case we already have the app installed so we're gonna go ahead and open it and if you uh, don't have an account with go through you can create one uh, through go through website and right now we are not logged in into the account so we're gonna click on the menu on the top left corner and then click on log in to go through and since I have an account uh, using Google, we're gonna click Google account and we're gonna select the account we are working with. Now, once we are connected, we need to bring the tools that we have in our GoThrough web account into the mobile app. So we're gonna click on the go through listing button and Below on the bottom, there is a sync button and we're gonna click on the sync button. And that brought all the image, all the tours into go through. And our tour that we want to work with is Forest Manor Dental. So we're gonna click edit. And these are the images that we have to, to connect. It's about 11. So let's Go ahead and start with the first. In our case, the first uh, image is number four. We're gonna click on number four and we're gonna scroll down to number five. And the way connecting the images works, we have the first image on the bottom and the second image on the top. It's a top-down view and we have a line passing through these images. Now, what this line represents is where the direction of motion. And we're gonna position uh, the direction of motion from panel one to panel two. So it intersects where the panel the, from the top it is. And we see the panel on the top is uh, in front of the door and the line crosses that point on the ground where the panel two is. Now the panel two is not perfectly aligned, so we can just uh, nudge it a bit. It's, we can easily move these circles by uh, holding our finger on one of the, the circles and drag them left and right, and that will move the selection, the, the panel. So now we can select the distance between the images. And I would say in this particular case, let's say five meters and we can click on the plus or minus button to go up and down. And when we are happy with the connection, we click on the button, save connection on the, uh, on the yeah, button, save connection, which is on the top left corner, save. And we go back to number four. Now, you will notice that number four and number five have a number below them, which is four is connected with five and five with four. Now, we also, there is an extra button in here. 
uh, one and we are interested in the one with the eye that's crossed. What that button does, it hides panoramas that we already work with and we are not gonna connect anymore. So we're gonna click on number four, hide button, and that takes the image out of our working area. And if you notice on the bottom, there is hidden panoramas and the connected, already connected panoramas that don't need to connect to anything else are in that section. So we can always go back to them. So now let's go ahead and connect number five with number six. Select the direction of motion. Make sure that we cross the same point and we can move this a bit like this. Center on the door and the distance seems to be like three meters and the save connection button. And we're gonna hide panel number five. Now panel five has, if you notice on the left corner side, it has two numbers, four and six. That means the panel number five is connected with previous panel, which was four in the next panel, which is six. And we're gonna hide number six, uh, five. Now let's connect six with seven and easily turn the panel and position where the next panel is and make sure that this panel is also uh, something like this. Um, now, when you shoot for real estate for, for a business, you should shoot in the line of sight. This allows you to do these connections where you know in what the direction you're going and you should have all the doors open. So it's easier to understand when walking around the space. And let's put like four meters and save the connection. Let's hide number six. And we're gonna connect seven with eight and again drag the panel on the bottom to the direction where this second panel is something like this we make sure that the top of the blue line falls in the same place on both panels and we're gonna say three meters okay save connection and now panel number seven, we can hide it. I think panel number eight has a triple connection. So it's gonna go down to panel number nine. Okay, somewhere in here. Rotate this a bit. Also, when you shoot, you should maintain the same angle when doing maintaining the same angle you don't need to twist these panels too much and i'll save connection and we're not gonna hide panel number eight because if you notice on the left side of the panel there is a hallway so we're gonna go down that hallway later and now let's connect nine with ten Okay, easy, easy. And as you see, it's not very technical. Anyone can do it. Um, the desktop moderator, yes, it has uh, multiple uh, features um, and it's more detailed, but it's for more advanced uh, people, so. I would, uh, I would start with connecting the phone and then when I want to uh, up my game, then I would move to the desktop moderator. Okay, let's hide now panel number eight, nine and connect 10 with 11. And move. 
here rotate this a bit and three meters okay save connection and we can hide panel number 11 and now we can hide panel number 10 also and we have number eight with uh, number three so we're gonna click number eight then number three we're gonna go down the hallway just make this perpendicular and that's always good to shoot in 90 degrees as possible in this way you have clean angles between the images so let's put four meters let's say five meters here save connection and we can now hide number eight and now you see number eight is connected with three seven and nine all right and the next is three with one let's rotate that was the direction we we went okay and just move this a bit so again we're looking at the top part of the the circle so they the they match they, the the blue line crosses the same section and i would say two meters here save and we can hide three and now we have one more connection and it's one and two and we're gonna go here so this is actually very good and the reason they are matching is because i maintain the same direction so whenever i'm shooting i make sure that my lens is starting in it's always facing north let's say okay so three meters is good and save connection now we have the whole uh, tour connected and we can click on the top right corner uh, icon, the green one, and we can see actually the constellation. So this is the constellation we see. We start with number four, then we have the door, five, six, seven, and we can zoom out by pinching and we can even rotate the constellation from here it, you'll notice a, a, a slider bar on the bottom of the screen and we can rotate just drag a bit something like that and then we can save by the top up corner okay and we can go back and now we have the tour connected. What we need to do is upload, update the tour in GoThrough because the tour in the images were initially in GoThrough, but we didn't want to use the text of moderator because it's, yeah, it's for more advanced people. We wanted to use this easier uh, method. So we're gonna click on update tour. Are you sure you update the tour? Yes and it's updating the tour it's pretty fast okay we are back into go through we're gonna reload the page and this is the the tour that we just connected looks exactly as we've uh, we had it in the street editor app let's click on preview button and we can start already navigating uh, the tour now the tour starts in this uh, room because that's the first panel in, in our tour. Uh, the reason that's the first is because I start shooting in that area because there were people here. So go through uh, sequence, uh, the, the file sequence number in go through is based on the file name and the camera yeah, enumerates the, the, the photos based on when they were shot and that was the first. So that's why it starts there. Now, if you want this preview, like if you want to share the preview with your 
uh, client you can just go to where you want and you can copy the URL from here and uh, you can share that URL in the tour the preview will start in that uh, uh, with that panel now let's close the preview and next what uh, we can do this is this can be also a virtual tour that we enhance and we create as a for real estate or we can go and uh, publish it to Google for that we're gonna click on the Google button and here we select the account we want to publish the tour with and then we're just gonna publish the tour to Google by pressing the publish your tour to Google Street View and then click on start publishing now if you have a basic or pro account that button is will be unlocked if you do not have a subscription with us you will have to unlock the tour in order to publish and once you unlock the tour by paying ten dollars you can go back to this section and then publish the tour to Google Okay, so that was how easy to connect a pretty big tour, 11 panels, uh, with uh, the um, Go Through Street Editor app.